Despite the recent Sichuan power crunch and sporadic lockdowns, the impact on China's auto industry has been mild. In fact, the country's passenger vehicle sales have been recovering at a strong pace since June. DBS Group Research sees three tailwinds which can propel auto sales even further in the fourth quarter. Firstly, the supply of auto chips is stabilizing. This should provide relief to vehicle manufacturers as the Chinese auto market enters peak season in the fourth quarter. Secondly, the support of vehicle tax policy. Since its implementation in June, auto sales have jumped. We anticipate a surge in sales as car buyers make last-minute purchases ahead of the policy's expiry on 1st January 2023. Lastly, China has extended its exemption of new energy vehicles or NEVs from purchase taxes to the end of 2023. We believe this will boost NEV sales, which is estimated to grow 35% to reach 8.1 million units in 2023. NEV sales could rise to slightly over 30 million units by the end of the 14th five-year plan in 2025. Yet there are some potential headwinds ahead. Slowing GDP growth has been shown to have a drag on passenger vehicle sales. As such, any prolonged weakness of economic growth could hit sentiment. Next, the yuan depreciation makes vehicle imports more expensive. The upside is it encourages exports. Finally, electric vehicle or EV battery material prices like lithium remain high. This could put cost pressure on the smaller EV players given their lack of scale. What should investors do? The auto sector has corrected by some 10 to 30% in the past one month, largely due to a volatile stock market. As the auto market is entering the fourth quarter peak cycle, we believe investor interest will return. DBS Group Research recommends investors to stay with the EV theme as sales momentum remains strong till 2025. We remain positive on NEV proxies given their attractive valuation. We also like automakers and parts manufacturers to ride on the recovery of the vehicle market.